Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did for his. I hope you guys are having a fine March, as of so far. And, um, for this video, I'm going to introduce two heroes and one species of sorts, which is a heroic species, but still. And I hope you guys could bear with me as I describe each of them to you. I'm just trying to make this work for you guys, so please bear with me. And thank you in advance. Um, okay. Here's the first one. Immorta. Real name, Ingrid Powers. Height, 6 feet. Weight, 182 pounds. Status, hero, and niece of Betsy Powers. Base, well, intelligence, three brains. Behavior, intellectual, protective, and willful. She hates being in a shadow. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, boredom and being rivaled. Powers. She possesses immortality, is a good guesser, has uncanny word usage, and is skilled at different martial arts. She's also a weapons expert. Eyes vivid green, hair strawberry blonde, and flowy. Origin. Ingrid Powers was the lesser known niece of Betsy Powers, owner of the power factory who didn't want to be stuck in her shadow. Just so you know, the Power Factory is a corporation that designs different outfits and clothes for heroes and villains alike. One day, Ingrid was fused by Goddess with an unrevealed power. And when she got hit by a bus, she learned that she's now an immortal. After showing her powers to her aunt, Ingrid decided to call herself Immorta and went out to be a hero. Eventually... She helped the heroic optic fight a crew of Martian soldiers. Since then, Immorta would do all that's needed to be who she is destined to be. A dedicated hero. Costume. She simply wears nothing official, nothing in particular. Teams. Solitary or with other heroes. For its inspiration, Claire from the old TV show Heroes. The next one I'm going to introduce is based on an iconic person in, in ancient history, like a, an actual person, you know? Here it is. Joan. Real name, Joan of Arc. Height, 575 feet. Weight, 112,000 tons. Status, hero, and queen of Arc with two Ks. Base, Arc. Mobile. Intelligence, four brains. Behavior, innocent, moody, and willful. She enjoys being an advocate for women. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, hallucinations. She's deathly afraid of fire. Powers, she has a huge size, uncanny warrior skills, and uncanny word usage. She also wields an arsenal of ancient weapons. Eyes deep blue, hair goldish, orange, and curly. Origin. In the far past of human history, Joan of Arc was a successful warrior and advocate for womanhood until she was burnt at the stake by her own people. After her heartless death, God stated that she admired Joan's willpower and thus decided to resurrect her. In the process, Joan became 575 feet tall and was since the warrior queen of the planet Arc. One time, the Hirikashiks traveled the Ark and challenged Joan to see who between the two of them is better at war. And after a time of fighting, they ended up going into a tie. Since then, Joan would try to be more tolerable of other warriors. Costume. She simply wears a set of black armor. Teams. Solitary or with other heroes. Original inspiration. Herself. Here's the last one that I'm going to introduce to you guys, so I hope you guys could bear with me and such. Chimers. 
Real name, Barry. Length or height, 5 feet 6 inches to 7 feet 6 inches. Weight, 177 pounds to 228 pounds. Status, hero and allies of the Mermians. Base, default earth. Intelligence, 2.5 brains to 3.5 brains. Behavior, their personalities depend on the individual. Lethality, only when angered or threatened. Weaknesses. They have the same weaknesses as their ancestors. Powers. They have the same powers as their ancestors. They usually travel in groups of 50 to 75 members. Eyes and hair. Buried. Origin. Due to the two species having a strong attraction with each other, the Kyjuricans and the second-class Mermians eventually mated and formed a new species known as the Chimers. They are the descendants of both Kyjericus and the Ultramer, along with having all the powers and weaknesses as both of their ancestors. An average Chimer has the following attributes. A humanoid torso, the arms, legs, and head of a Kyjirican, and the coloring and tail of a second-class Mermian. Along with helping the innocents with problems, they also help the Mermians of both classes with their wars against the feral Maconians. They also hunt for food when not doing anything else. Costume. They either wear armor or waterproof cloths. Teams. They usually travel in groups. Original inspiration. Kyjuricans and Merifold. Well, those are the three themes I'm going to introduce to you guys for this video. And good news. Just earlier today, I had my second occupation and first official day of working at McDonald's. I worked at the cash register and I also gave out some of the food supplies through the drive through and such. And I even got like a two dollar bonus and such and I really hope you guys would be proud of me and such and I hope things would work out on behalf of my Leviathan universe. And if you guys want you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. I hope you guys have a fine rest of the month. And, um, hope the best of times comes for everyone involved. And until next time, in transmission.